In this tutorial, you will learn how to design the eccentric cycloid, or EC, gear drive in Blender. Unlike most gearing mechanisms invented decades or even centuries ago, the EC gear drive is so new, the ink is still not dry on its patents. This video was created with the explicit permission of the patent holder. The EC drive is very efficient and extremely compact. The gear ratio of the mechanism, shown here, is 1 to 9. The standard involute gear pair with the same gear ratio would require the wheel to be almost three times larger. The EC gear mechanism is closely related to the hypocycloid drive described in our tutorial number 5 that can be found at www.hotvinta.com slash tutorial05.html. The hypocycloid drive can be fully defined by four parameters, the number of pins shown here in blue, the pin diameter, the diameter of the ring around which the pins are mounted, and the eccentricity of the cam shown here in green. The shape of the cycloid disc, shown here in red, can be obtained using the free online calculator found at www.hotvinted.com slash cycloid.html. The cycloid disc becomes the base shape for the EC wheel, while the pin circle with the eccentricity amount applied to its origin becomes the base shape for the EC pinion. To turn these base shapes into the EC gears, the screw modifier needs to be applied to them. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Press 7 on the numeric pad to switch to the top view, and 5 to switch to the orthographic mode. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Go to User Preferences, and on the Add-ons tab, make sure, Add Mesh, Extra Objects is checked. Press Shift A. Select Mesh, Math Function, XYZ Math Surface. Go to the Hypocycloid Gear Calculator at www.hotvinted.com slash cycloid.html. Enter 100 for ring diameter, 24 pin diameter. 10 for the number of pins, and 4 for eccentricity. The gear ratio of our gear pair is going to be 1 less than the number of pins, or 9. Press Calculate Equations. Copy the X and Y equations from the calculator to the corresponding boxes of the XYZ surface properties in Blender. Enter 0 for Z equation. Enter 0 for U min and 1 for U max. Enter the maximum allowed value of 1024 for U step. Uncheck the U wrap box. Since we are not going to be using the V parameter, enter 0 for V min and V max, and 1 for V step. Press tab to enter the edit mode. Press the remove doubles button on the tools panel. Press F to create a face covering this outline. To turn this shape into a valid cycloid profile, the inset tool, needs to be applied in the amount, equal to the pin radius, which is 10. Press I, then 10, then enter. Remove the outer rim of vertices. Press A to select everything and delete the face only by pressing X and selecting only faces. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Our wheel outline is complete. The pinion outline is simply a circle with the radius equal to the pin radius, which is 10. Press Shift A, and select Mesh, Circle. Enter 128 for vertices and 10 for radius. Shift it along the x-axis by the distance equal to the ring radius, which is 50. Press G, then X, then 50, then Enter. Press Tab to enter the edit mode. Shift the vertices further along the x-axis by the distance equal to the eccentricity, which is 4. Press G, then X, then 4, then Enter. Now, the origin of this circle is shifted to the left relative to its geometric center. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Open the modifier tab, 
press add modifier, and select screw. Enter 35 for screw. This value is chosen arbitrarily. Change the steps value from 16 to 36 for a smoother mesh. Optionally, uncheck the smooth shading. Press apply. Press tab to enter the edit mode and press control and to fix the normals. Press tab to exit the edit mode. Press shift s, and select cursor to select it. Press tab again. To create an axis hole. Add a circle with a radius of 5. Select the bottom rim of vertices, press W and select bridge edge loops. Select the inner rim of vertices and extrude upwards by pressing E, then Z, then 35, then enter. Close the gap by using bridge edge loops again. Press tab to exit the edit mode. Our pinion is ready. Select the cycloid outline. Press Shift S, and select cursor to select it. Add the screw modifier. Enter 35 for screw. The angle amount is calculated by dividing the angle amount for the pinion by the gear ratio. 360 divided by 9 is 40. The negative sign needs to be applied as the pinion and wheel are threaded in the opposite directions. Optionally uncheck the smooth shading box and enter 36 for steps. Press the apply button. To create the axis hole, press E to extrude, then S to scale, then shift Z, and scale it down, then press enter. To transform this shape to a circle, use the to sphere tool by pressing alt shift S, then 1, then enter. Extrude upwards by pressing E, then Z, then 35, then enter. Close the gap by using bridge edge loops. Press tab to exit the edit mode. Our wheel is ready. In the rest of the tutorial, this gear pair will be tested for compatibility using Blender's rigid body physics engine. To avoid too tight a fit, scale the pinion down by 1% along the X and Y axes. Select it, press S for scale, then shift Z, then point 99, then enter. Move the 3D cursor back to the origin. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it axis 1. Add an empty of the type arrows and move it up. Call it hinge 1. Select the pinion and move the 3D cursor to it. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it axis 2. Add an empty and move it up. Call it hinge 2. Add an empty and rotate it around the Y axis by 90 degrees. Call it motor. Select the wheel. Open the physics tab. Click the rigid body button. Select mesh for shape and zero for margin. Select axis 1. Click rigid body. Select passive for type. Select hinge 1. Click rigid body constraints. Select hinge for type. Select the wheel for object 1 and axis 1 for object 2. Select the pinion. Click rigid body. Select mesh for type and zero for margin. Select axis 2. Click rigid body. Select passive for type. Select hinge 2. Click rigid body constraints. Select hinge for type. Select the pinion for object 1 and axis 2 for object 2. Select motor. Click rigid body constraints. Select motor for type. Select the pinion for object 1 and axis 2 for object 2. Click enable under angular motor. Our setup is ready. Click the play button to start the simulation.
And that concludes our tutorial.